All right, in this video, we're gonna show you how to use the Akroto Travel Space Saver Bags, all right? So you should have a pack of 10 in a, a medium size and a, and a large size. So it's important to select the right size for the clothes that you wanna pack because if you try to put too many clothes in this bag, it's not gonna roll correctly. We've got the valve down here at the bottom and you wanna make sure that there's a little bit of space there between the clothing and the valve so that the air escapes properly and that you can fully seal the, the Ziploc, all right? So um, also make sure not to have any really sharp objects on the outside of your clothing um, that could potentially puncture your, your bag. We're, we've used some of the thickest um, material available. These are 70 micron bags. Most of our competitors are running 50 or 60 micron. So they're very durable. It's just make sure not to put super, start, uh, super sharp stuff in there. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put my clothing for my next trip in the bag. I like to fold it, fold the clothing so that um, so that it fits in there nicely. All right, so I've got my jeans and my shirt here. This is this is the smaller size bag, but you can see that I'm still succeeding to pack enough clothes for a good two, three days. <laughs> At least for me as a guy, ladies, you might need more space, but um, so you can see how thick I've got things here. I've got it up to about three or four layers of clothing thick. And I'm going to be careful to make sure that there's this space at the bottom of the bag for the valve. Next, I'm going to seal the, seal the top end manually, all right, um, just like you would a Ziploc bag. And you can see that there's two tracks here that need to zip together. And I'm just lining those up. And then um, this clip. It comes off, so you can use it on multiple bags, um, but you slide that on there, and I like to run it twice. So you squeeze it nice and firm, and make sure that's fully sealed, and then run it one more time all the way across and back again, okay? Next step is to actually roll the bag and get the air out. So I'm gonna start by rolling at the top and working my way towards the bottom. If you're a smaller person, you might wanna put it on the floor and roll it. And you just keep rolling and let the air escape. Now I like to grab the bottom of the bag and just push down. All right, so we've got a good compression here. And you can see that we've really saved some space for our suitcase. We've protected our clothing from any moisture um, or issues that the baggage might have in transit. Um, please do go and register your Space Saver bags on our website. There's a link at the bottom of this video and there's also a contact us uh, button on the site. Please don't hesitate to reach out, let us know um, what you think about the product or any issues that you're having and we'll be glad to make sure that you're more than happy.